Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to iCode. In this video, we're gonna see what are the different kinds of operation that we can perform with the variables in C Sharp. So let's get started. So open up Unity. So let me just tap on Unity and create a new project called operations with a variable something like that. So let me just tap on new. And let me just name this variable operations. You can either select 3D or 2D, doesn't matter. So tap on create project. And now Unity will create the project for you. And there you go. As I told you, the first thing you need to do is save the scene. So command S, save the scene. Let me just name this first scene. And tap on save. And if you can navigate to the project folder, you can see that this is your first scene created. And that's cool. And the next thing you need to do is you need to create an empty game object. We have been doing this for the last two videos. So I'm going to just do this so fast. So let me just create an empty game object and I'm going to just name this. Okay, game object is cool. And now I'm going to create a new C sharp script. So create C sharp script. And I'm going to name this as variable operations. Variable operations. So let me just drag this and put it on the game object so that this particular script will be now attached to that particular game object. So let me just leave that over there. And now if you tap on the game object, you can see that here two scripts are attached. Oh my God, let me just delete one. So just tap on this button right here and now just tap on this remove component. So tap on remove component and now there is only one script that is attached. Cool. So just double tap on the script. So to open our script in the mono develop, as I told you, we are not gonna work with this update function. So let me just get rid of that. And let me just get rid of this comment as well. And as I told you, we're gonna write the code inside the start function because whenever a script is executed, first thing that will be executed is the code inside this particular start function. Got it? Fine. So let's just write some code inside the start function. So in this video, I'm going to just tell you what are the different operations that you can perform with the variables that we have learned in the previous video. So starting with the integers. Guys, you can just perform all the different arithmetic operations on the variables. So let me just create a variable for now that is integer variables. So, okay, let me just create all the type of variable that we know. So I'm going to do this in five seconds. Okay, with the magic of the video editing. So just five seconds and I'll be back. And there you go. I've created four different types of variables that we know. And there you go. I've created all the types of variables that we have learned in the previous video. And now we're going to see what are the different types of operation that we can perform starting with the integer. Guys, we can perform arithmetic operations on the variables. So let me just type in debug.console first. So debug.console so that we could just see all the different kinds of values, etc, etc, blah, blah, inside the console. So debug.log and put a parenthesis and a semicolon. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just add five to the variable X. So I'm going to just say five, sorry, not five, X plus five. So X plus five. So basically we are doing addition right here. So save that up, go to unity and run this. Now quickly go back to the console tab. So tap on the console tab and right here you can see that the value is 10. So 5 plus 5 is of course 10. So that means we can perform arithmetic operation on integer variable. So now we have seen 5 plus 5. Let's just see 5 minus 5 as well. So 5 minus 5, save that. Go back to Unity and run this. So let me just stop that, run that again. And if you go to console and there you go, 5 minus 5 is 0, great, fine, it's working. So we can perform all kind of arithmetic operation on integer variable and guys not only integer variable we can perform this on the float variable as well and I'm going to just show you one example of that and the rest I think you can just do that five so I'm going to just save y here so y minus five and let me just see what happens if I just run that so go back to unity and run that tap on the run button and we get 0 0.5 that's cool. So 5.5 minus 5 is of course 0 0.5. So now that we have seen addition and subtraction, let's go see if the division works. So let me just minimize this and now do 5 divided by 2. That is basically x by 2. So x division 2. 
and let's go back to unity and run that and here you see that we have got the answer as two. Oh my god what's happening okay let me just come back to the mono develop and explain you so guys when you divide an integer with integer the output will be integer as well so an integer is something which doesn't have any decimal path okay let me just put that right here so phi is an integer divided by 2 right which should be equal to 2.5 but as I told you an integer is something which doesn't have any decimals what happens here is this particular 2.5 is truncated to 2 that means it just removes that 0.5 and it will output only 2 so basically when you divide an integer with another integer the output is an integer but now you may ask how to get the output as 2.5 and for that we're gonna use casting and let me just show you what is casting so all you need to do is you need to just say that x is a floating variable so just put a parenthesis right here and inside the parenthesis you can just say float so basically what are we seeing here is this particular for this particular statement only for this particular statement x is now a float variable not an integer variable only for this particular statement okay guys so for this particular statement this particular variable is now a floating variable as we have casted that with floating type got it fine and now let me just save that up and go to unity and run that and see if that worked now we should be getting a value of 2.5 and there we go we got 2.5 and this is how casting works so let me just go back to mana develop and and of course we can perform the same thing with the floating variable and I think it's not that required to show you but guys we can add a variable of type string to a variable of type integer of float and let me just show that how so all we're gonna say here is debug.log and let me just get rid of this and we're gonna say here s plus so we're gonna say s plus x so basically here we are adding up a variable of type string to a variable of type integer that is i code plus phi so let me just save this and go back to the unity and see what happens so let me just tap on run and there you go we have got i code 5 what happened here so go back to mono develop so when you just use this plus operator with this particular variable of type string in c sharp what happens is the other variables which are not of type string will be converted to string and then the concatenation happens got it okay let me just say that again so when you add a string to an integer of float what happens is the integer and the floating variable will be converted to the string and then they will concatenate to this particular string and now let us just see if we can add a boolean integer sorry a boolean variable to the string so s plus boolean so z where is that so z save that up go back to unity and see if we can perform that so let me just run that and there you go we got i code true what happened here so that means when you add a variable of any type to a variable type string all the variables that are not of type string will be converted to string and they will be concatenated to that particular string fine and finally we are going to discuss about a string adding up to a string so let us just discuss that so I'm going to create a new string so string ss is equal to unity and now we're going to add a string with a string and see if that will work or not we're just concatenating two strings so s plus sorry why did I type sim s plus ss so save that up go to unity and run that and now there you go we got i code unity so basically we can add a string to a string that means guys we can add anything to a string if that is not of type string it will just convert that to string and it will concatenate using that plus operator got it so guys this is what you can do with all the different kind of variables you know these are the different kinds of operation and of course there are many and we're gonna just discuss that you know in the upcoming videos when we will be creating games and etc so that's it for this video thanks for watching this video 
and in the next video probably we'll be discussing about arrays for loops etc so stay tuned for that don't forget to subscribe and i'll be back with the next video very soon so see ya